Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. It is Thursday. I am at work today but a little bit later on. So this morning I actually popped on over to the supermarket. I had initially planned to like chat to you guys from the car and then as I was driving I thought you didn't bring the camera did you and i'm not touching my phone when i drive so i thought you know what i'll just let you guys know afterwards i went to the supermarket and i got a few things i did two stops i went to aldi uh because i'm planning on making cake pops for the christmas party on saturday i really like the butter cake mix at aldi like it's been my favorite for a couple of years now it's the one i use they don't have it anymore. I had a look. They have a vanilla cake mix, but I don't think it's the same one. Because the one that I used to buy was called Butter Cake Mix. It was so good. And I ended up just getting the... Oh, what did I do? I've, I've torn it already. I ended up getting this Choc Fudge Super Moist Cake Mix. So this is also from Aldi. That sounds really nice. So I'm going to do chocolate cake mix pops and uh, butter cake mix pops. And because I like the icing better on the icing packets. I mean, I guess most people when they do like cake pops, you can buy like already made cakes, like the already made mud cake. I just don't really like the frosting, the icing on that. I just feel like it's a little stale. So I'm just, I'm happy to like bake the cakes. I'm probably going to make them tomorrow unless i mean i could always like bake the cake bit today and then have it ready for tomorrow maybe we'll do that and then that way tomorrow we can actually make the cake pops or we can make them on saturday but as long as the cake is ready to go the rest can like i can just whip up the icing in a flash and then this one i got from so from aldi uh, i popped on over to woolies so i ended up getting this one this is the greens uh oh gluten free golden butter cake mix i don't oh no I did not see that it said gluten free. How did I miss that? I wonder if it's going to taste different. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to make it and if it tastes weird, I'll, I might make this one today. If it tastes weird, I can buy another one tomorrow and make that. I, I didn't see it. Like, I forget that people are gluten free because I'm not. I'm still like, you know, old school days, they didn't have gluten free stuff. So you just go to whatever. I mean, it helps for people who are. I need to read. But anyways, also from Aldi, I saw these cake in a mug. So there's a sticky date brownie and there's a cinnamon donut. So I wanted to try these out and see how they taste. Like I'd heard that they had these and last time when I went, they didn't have them in stock. So I'm excited to try that. I got myself a big jumbo bread. I, there wasn't a smaller one. I was really feeling like a sourdough style toast for breakfast. So I just got one of those. It's Angus's birthday also this weekend. So I want to make him a cake and I saw this tiramisu brownie i feel like he would love this because it is a very angus cake he loves coffee loves tiramisu he's italian i feel like that would be perfect however i did read that it doesn't come with the mascarpone and i forgot to get that so i'm gonna have to get that tomorrow i just got one little dog food for chippy as a backup i got some unsalted butter for the cakes I'm probably gonna have to get some eggs yet tomorrow i totally forgot things today i went for one thing and then i forgot and i got an avocado I really should have had a list, so I might put a list and then go tomorrow and get more stuff. But for now, I am hungry, so let's toast some bread because I want some breakfast. I did avocado toast with honey. I have not had this in ages. This is the honey I use, this airborne Manuka honey. Uh, it tastes so good. I haven't had this in so long. I was craving something a little bit different apart from I usually have like either my yogurt or my egg toast every day. I'm like a creature of habit. <laughs> so crunchy i was also sifting through the aldi catalog i haven't gone to aldi like to buy the middle stuff in ages but i love looking at the catalog i did see oh a new coffee machine i could do with one of those my coffee machine was just making all this funny sound and i was like maneuvering it around thinking don't die on me buddy we've been friends for a while now these water bottle things in purple how cute I use my blue one, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, so I'm not going to grab one. But there's a lot of this summer stuff, and where was it? This beach umbrella. They're showing it in the stripes, but there's different patterns, and it's $25. That's a bargain. Even at Kmart, I think it was like $50. Like, how cute is it? There's a swimsuit, and it says, one size fits most. I mean, really? With swimwear? I don't know. I'm going to have my breakfast before it gets cold. I did upload today's video, so I just want to see if there's any comments, and then we will regroup. I finished breakfast. It was delicious, I will say. And now it is time to open up 
advent calendar day 15 are we excited i'm excited i love opening up these each day let's have a look okay 15 is the top corner over here i always forget thumbnail stuff and then when i'm like editing i'm like what's the thumbnail stands what are you gonna pull so i just like screenshot four different pictures from the vlog oh it's a clinique product it is a moisture surge I th have i i think i have tried this 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator let's open up the little box i remember growing up like clinique was like the most fascinating product to me yes i'm pretty sure i've tried this and i'm pretty sure i really liked it so excellent i think when i tried it, it was just in like a little sachet this is so cute yes ex i'm very excited as you guys know i love trying out new creams and things i'm definitely going to add that to my list of things that i'll be using pop mr 15 back in there and you know what else came today as i got back from the shops my bella box so we are going to open this up today this is i'm pretty sure this is my last bella box i really enjoyed getting them every month i thought it was fun like just you know little treats as you guys can tell i love, I love trying out new stuff i've tried out so many new things I, I, I like it there are there's just so many products out there and there are lots of good products lots of not the greatest price but there's lots of stuff out there our last box is this beautiful like a uh, minty kind of blue color let's see what's in here as usual comes all packaged oh bella box we shall miss you <laughs> all right oh we've got a big product don't normally get big stuff this is a biore yuzu lemon ginseng brightening jelly cleanser I have never even seen this before, but I do like me a cleanser. This is made in Canada, it says. I do like a cleanser, and I do actually like lemon. Okay, strangely enough, it's already opened, which... Are cleansers usually open? Like, oh, I guess it's a big lid. I was going to say, I usually feel like there's a protective layer on stuff like this. Isn't there normally? I don't know. Maybe it's just the creams. But it does have a little lemony scent to it, so I'll definitely try that out. We have a lip. Oh, yes, I like a lip. Maybelline New York, the ultimate. Let's have a look at the shade. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try it out a little bit later on when I refreshen my makeup because, you know, I'll probably be eating again today, so we'll have to refresh the lips. Look. All right. Okay, this looks like a me shade of course pop it on the hand it pretty much looks like the color i'm wearing now and a color that i would wear so it would be nice to try that out and to see like how it actually stays on my lips especially if we go to work like we'll see how long it lasts pink clay leg mask that's interesting okay well, well this is marzina is the brand hair removal and treatment for legs uh i don't use stuff like this i'm just a shaver i don't can't be bothered doing like creams and stuff it says it's a four-in-one beauty treatment that removes hair and stubble gently exfoliates moisturizes and minimizes hair regrowth leaving you with smooth nourished and radiant skin for longer we could possibly try it out i don't know we'll see i, I as i said i don't really use products like this got a couple of minis in here what have we got this is hydrazone cream it's an intense moisturizing cream. I apply morning and evening to the face. Okay. I've not heard of this brand, Guino. Another little one, we have a purifying cleansing foaming gel. That sounds nice. I like a cleansing foaming gel. It's a tiny little one, good travel size. And then we just have a couple of these sachets of the L'Oreal Real Vita Lift. I actually do like this product. So these are pretty good for travel as well. And a lot of this does last, like uh, like if you don't open it, you can keep it for when you do travel. And that's everything that we got in our final Bella box. The rest is just like, they always give you these sorts of dealio thingamajiggies, which I never look at or use. <laughs> But as I said, we'll definitely try the lippy a little bit later on. So I decided I'm not going to make the cake today. I'm going to do them tomorrow. I may get a new one of these because I still have to get new stuff tomorrow. So we'll do that tomorrow. But now I want to try this cake in a mug. So what do I need? 40 mils of milk on a microwave mug. Oh, so I just really need milk. That's it. All right. Let's measure up the milk. Okay, I popped the mix in there. And... 
It was very hard measuring out 40 mils because it's not a lot, but it's not going to be all of this. I have to leave some. Or... All right, now mix it up. I'm just going to use a fork because I feel like a fork's a good mixer. That's all mixed in, and it literally just says to put it in the microwave for 50 seconds. Like, 50 seconds is nothing. Let's let's try this. It actually smells so good. Oh, my microwave is dirty. Ignore that. Okay, 50 seconds was not enough in my microwave. It was still a bit raw. That's what it looks like about a minute and five seconds in. I just got to check it. Okay, let's try it out. So that is what it looks like. Very interesting. You know what? I was staring at me and I was like, I need to try it. So ooh, it's, can you see the steam? Super hot. It smells nice. I don't know if it's cooked. I mean, it does look cooked, but the texture is like, it's not dry like I thought it would be. If I had some caramel sauce, I would also drizzle that on top. I mean, just for like a mug cake thing, if you want something like a quick snack or a quick dessert, it's full of calories, mind you. But it's like nice and simple. You don't have to buy a whole cake. So it's perfect for like one person like me. <laughs> so I took a little bit of time to edit and the time got away from me. So literally I have like 10 minutes to get ready. I just patted my face down a little bit to retouch up the makeup. I retied my hair and popped on a nice little black bow. I thought that would that kind of goes my outfit. I'll show you guys my outfit once like I have it all done. Let's try out the lipstick. So this is the Maybelline one that we got today in the Bella box. I already put on my lip liner. I just used like my Marc Jacobs one that I have. And okay, it's going on very nicely. It's my shade. The funny thing is, it's the shade that I keep buying, so I have a lot of things in this shade. <laughs> it's like a, a deep mauve. Well, the shade is actually more mauve, so perfect. I feel like it's a little wintry, though. I really do tend to like wearing pinks in the summer, just like bright colours, but this weather's been all over the shop, so it was literally freezing last night. It was so cold. I had to get up in the middle of the night, put socks on, Get another blankie. We were freaking so cold with chip. I'm gonna pop it in my bag for a touch up. Oh, let's give my me a spritz. I'm running out of this. Pop on my shoes and we're good to go. Here's the outfit for the day. This is an old cardigan that I have, but I really like the little like pocket here. Grey skirt, I wore it last week. Same shoes. Good for time. I just need to find something for my snack to eat. Whilst I'm there, not now. Actually, I didn't have lunch. Oh, well, lunch will be dinner, lunch, dinner. Okay, I made it to the car park. I it was it's in the second car park. The first car park was full, full. And the traffic was just so freaking slow today. And I left early to avoid the, like, school zones. Uh, if you're not from Australia, school zones are like, you probably have it where you live too, during, like, point school hours of when, the before and after school where kids go to school. The speed limit decreases uh, a lot. So then everyone has to drive extra, extra slow. So you need to factor in that time which I did but there was still so much traffic but anyways uh, I was lucky enough that I stalked this lady and in driving I mean and she got out of a spot so I'm undercover which is not gonna matter because I'm finishing late tonight it's just that I didn't really want to walk up all those levels again tonight at 10 o'clock because I finish at 10 which is pretty late and I don't know, I'm guessing there'll still be people around, but you know, I just didn't want to be that far away. But anyways, I now have, the thing is, I was, I was trying to come a little bit earlier to factor in some time to maybe do a little bit of like window shopping, which I don't now have time for. So I will see you guys. For you, it'll be in a flash. Man, I am puffed because I just walked up all those ramps. However, it is the end of the night. It's what? 10 20 time to go home now my feet are a little bit sore today i will say because even during my break my sister and angus came to visit well they came before the break they came and said hi let me just start the car then during my break i walked around with them so i have didn't have a chance to see i'm finally sitting oh resting my feet however it was a good day it had you know peaks and lulls there was a few times there where it wasn't busy uh, but otherwise good night in all just a little bit late now i'm so excited to go home and see chip but i do have to edit you guys i'm going to edit what i can and if not i'll edit really early in the morning but um, i'm just going to end the vlog here because that's it i'm going to go home and go to bed so thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow we're halfway through Thank you.